Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor, which is the AOC CQ32G1. We will see how it stacks up against similar, and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. If this is the first time you visiting this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Image quality. Based on a VA, vertical alignment, panel, the AOC CQ32G1 delivers vivid black shades for stunning detail clarity when watching dark content thanks to its superb static contrast ratio of 3000 is to 1. In comparison, other panel technologies, IPS and TN, have a contrast ratio of mere 1000 is to 1. Furthermore, the monitor offers vibrant colors with true 8 bit depth and a wide 125% sRGB color gamut. The extra 25% coverage of the sRGB space allows for more saturated and lifelike colors, but if you need to do some color critical work, you can limit the color reproduction to the standard sRGB space in the OSD, on screen display, menu. Additionally, the AOC CQ32G1 curved gaming monitor has a decent peak brightness of 300 nits and wide 178 degree viewing angles, so the image won't shift in color, contrast, and brightness when you look at it from an angle. 1440p resolution ensures sharp details and plenty of screen space even on a big 31.5 inch, viewable, screen of the AOC CQ32G1. You get the same pixel density, pixel per inch ratio, as 1080p on 24 inch which is roughly 93 pixels per inch. So, you won't get as clear details and as much screen real estate as 1440p on 27 inch, 108 ppi, but you get a decent pixel density plus a gigantic screen. Since the screen is huge and curved, you can sit a bit further from it which will also make the pixels less distinguishable. Add to that some anti-aliasing and along with the high contrast ratio and wide color gamut, you get a strikingly immersive viewing experience. Performance While AOC specifies a 1 millisecond response time speed for the CQ32G1, there are a few things you should keep in mind. The specified 1 millisecond response time refers to the MPRT, Moving Picture Response Time, measure which is actually achieved via backlight strobing. Now, the actual gray to gray, GTG, pixel transition time is actually 5 milliseconds which is standard for VA panels. In order to get 1 millisecond MPRT, you have to enable the motion blur reduction, MBR, technology which essentially inserts black frames between the regular frames in order to reduce the perceived motion blur. This method also introduces screen flicker, reduces the monitor's maximum brightness while active, and cannot work at the same time as free sync. Overall, it's useful in competitive FPS games, otherwise, you can turn it off. When not using 1 millisecond MPRT, you will notice that the pixels cannot transition from one color to another as quickly which results in noticeable trailing of fast moving objects, particularly when dark pixels are predominant in the picture and at higher frame rates. This is the case with all high refresh rate VA panels, and the overall amount of ghosting and motion blur on the AOC CQ32G1 monitor is tolerable given the image quality, features, and the overall performance you get for the price. To enable the 1 millisecond MPRT backlight strobing technology, set the overdrive option in the OSD menu to boost. Other available options for the response time overdrive include off, weak, medium, and strong. You can also adjust the intensity of the backlight strobing via the MBR setting. The AOC CQ32G1 input lag performance is excellent with only 5 ms of imperceptible delay at 144 Hz when the low input lag option is set to on. Features In the OSD menu, you will find plenty of useful gaming features including the game mode pre-calibrated picture presets for FPS, RTS, and racing genres as well as three fully customizable gamer profiles. 
There are also the shadow control and game color options which allow you to quickly adjust the gamma curvature and saturation. The AOC CQ32G1 has a low blue light filter, low blue mode, with four different presets, reading, office, internet, and multimedia. It's also flicker free, unless one millisecond MPRT is enabled, which prevents headaches and eye strain caused by prolonged use of the screen. When the OSD menu is not open, you can use the monitor's hotkeys as shortcuts for certain features including, from left to right, input source selection, game mode, dial point, places a custom crosshair on the screen, menu, and power on slash off. Standard settings such as contrast slash brightness, color temperature, aspect ratio, and three gamma presets are available as well. You can also use the G-Menu software to adjust all the OSD settings in a desktop application. There are also the AOC eSaver, adjust when the monitor goes to sleep, turns off, activates screen saver, etc., and screen plus, splits the monitor into partitions for easier multitasking, applications available. Last but not least, the AOC CQ32G1 1440p 144Hz gaming monitor supports AMD FreeSync with a 48 to 144Hz variable refresh rate VRR, range. Although the monitor is not on NVIDIA's list of certified G-Sync compatible displays, FreeSync works without issues with compatible NVIDIA cards. Design and Connectivity the AOC CQ32G1 has a sturdy design with narrow bezels, but it's tilt only by dash 4 degree slash 21 degree. You can mount the screen via the 100 into 100 mm VESA pattern though. The monitor has a 1800R curvature which nicely complements its big screen and helps eliminate distortion and improve immersion. Connectivity options include DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 1.4, Max 75Hz at 1440p, HDMI 2.0, and a headphones jack. FreeSync is supported over both DisplayPort and HDMI 2.0 with a 48 to 144Hz range. Conclusion Overall, the AOC CQ32G1 is a great gaming monitor. You get a fluid performance and a stunning image quality as well as plenty of features. While there are similar models that include HDR or G-Sync, they don't come close to the AOC CQ32G1 when it comes to value slash price. In case you can afford something a bit pricier, consider the above mentioned models. Also, feel free to leave us a comment below if you need help picking a gaming monitor as there are many similar models with slight differences available around this price range. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving this video a like or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.